This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. WBZB, WFGS, and WNBS now conducts a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. In a we are not to be resistant, we are not to be reluctant, we are not to stutter, we are to forthrightly speak. Andrew. This is a test of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area Emergency Alert System. This is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast and cable stations in your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If there has been an actual emergency, official messages will follow this alert tone. This concludes our test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a required weekly test from the North Carolina State Emergency Operations Center.
is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If, if this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. 
Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is WSPC Albemarle. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Albemarle. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Police has activated the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System in order to conduct a practice demo. This concludes this test of the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed.
8236CK Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. The Talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS, is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This has been a test of the emergency alert system on the Talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS. This was only a test. system. This is only a test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Todd MN, beginning at 9.39 a.m. and ending at 9.54 a.m. This is a test. This is the top county required weekly test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system for internet radio station ERN CRTV. CRTV conducts a test every Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, with an optional second test at random times throughout the week. This concludes this required weekly test of the emergency alert system. 
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is the National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device for stations KEC-61 Mobile, KEC-86 Milton, WWF-55 Jackson, KIH-59 Dillister, WNG-646 Britton, WNG-640 Leakesville, and WNG-607 Greenville. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and your receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 9 and 10 a.m. and between 6 and 8 p.m. each Wednesday. If there is a threat of or existing severe weather within the area Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability, which is normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even if you are using a good quality receiver, which is in good working order. The warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings, which affect the following counties. In Mississippi, George, Green, Jackson, Terry, Stone, and Wayne. In Alabama, Baldwin, Butler, Choctaw, Clark, Coffey, Conecuh, Covington, Crenshaw, Escambia, Geneva, Lowndes, Mobile, Monroe, Pike, Washington, and Wilcox. And in the Florida Panhandle, Escambia, Okaloosa, Santa Rosa, and Walton. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device. We now return you to our normal program. Thank <laughs> you. 
and here is a threat of severe weather during the normal test time. The test will be postponed to the next good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and discussion along the line of tone will vary at any given location. This variability will be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. The one the line tone will be reactivated for hazardous weather watches and warnings of the following counties in northern New Jersey, southeast New York State, and northeast Pennsylvania, in New Jersey, Virginia, Essex, Hunterdon, Morris, Pacific, Somerset, Sussex, Union, and Warren. In Pennsylvania, Monroe, Northampton, Pike and Wayne. And in New York, Oregon, Rockland, and Sullivan. This concludes the week of Chesapeake Weather Radio All Hazards. Station KZV 31 in Hamburg, New Jersey. Thank you for listening to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. The NOAA Weather Radio All Hazard Warning Device for Station WXK 97 in Sudlersville, Maryland. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of this signal are normally conducted by the National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of severe weather during the normal test time, the test will be postponed to the next good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous weather watches and warnings for the following counties, independent cities, and marine areas in and near the Upper Delmarva Peninsula, in Maryland, and the Rundle, Baltimore, Caroline, Cecil, Dorchester, Hartford, Howard, Kent, Queen Anne's, and Talbot counties, Baltimore City, and Chesapeake Bay North of Drum Point. The entire state of Delaware, including Delaware Bay but not including the adjacent Atlantic coastal waters. In New Jersey, Cumberland and Salem. And in Pennsylvania, Chester. This concludes the weekly test of NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards, Station WXK 97 in Sudlersville, Maryland. Thank you for listening to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system.
There is no severe weather in the area at this time. Repeating once again, this is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm system. This concludes the test. The civil authorities have issued a blue alert for all of Vermont beginning at 1.47 p.m. and ending at 3.47 p.m. This is a test. Vermont Blue Alert System Test. On October 23, 2024 at approximately 1.43, a Vermont law enforcement officer was tested in the line of duty at test and test and test, Vermont. This is only a test. No action is required. This is a test of the Vermont Blue Alert System. The civil authorities have issued a blue alert for all of Vermont beginning at 1.57 p.m. and ending at 3.57 p.m. This is a test cancellation of the Vermont Blue Alert System. This is a test cancellation. No action is required. This is a test cancellation of the Vermont Blue Alert System.
This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built radios are automatically activated by this tone to warn you of impending weather hazards in southwest Arizona and southeast California. Tests of these radios are normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of or existing severe weather in your area Wednesday, this test will not be conducted. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning services possible, this warning alarm will only be activated for watches and warnings affecting Yuma and La Paz counties in Arizona, and Imperial and Eastern Riverside counties in California. 
This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built radios are automatically activated by this tone to warn you of the impending weather hazards in central Arizona. Tests of these radios are normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of or existing severe weather in your area Wednesday, this test will not be conducted. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service as possible, this warning alarm will only be activated for watches and warnings affecting Southern Gila County. This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. This is a test of the National Weather Service's NOAA weather radio broadcast from Flagstaff, Arizona. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted between the hours of 10 a.m. and noon Mountain Standard Time. If there is a threat of severe weather, this test will be postponed until the next fair weather day. This concludes the weekly test of NOAA weather radio. test of the emergency alert system from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Las Vegas, Nevada. This system is used to provide warnings and essential safety emergencies. If this had been an actual emergency, you would receive official information, news, or instructions from the station. This concludes the weekly test of the Southern Nevada Emergency Alert System. This is a test of the emergency alert system and NOAA weather radio's warning alarm. During potentially hazardous weather situations, the National Weather Service transmits a signal that automatically activates specially built receivers to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the receivers are normally conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday near 12 noon. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area on Wednesday, the test is postponed until the next day without a severe weather threat. The following tones will conclude this test. Environment Canada has a message to broadcast. This is a required weekly test for BC3. I repeat, this is a required weekly test for BC3. Environnement Canada a un message à diffuser. Ceci est un test hebdomadaire obligatoire pour baisser 0003. Je répète. Ceci est un test hebdomadaire obligatoire pour baisser 0003.
This is the National Weather Service in Duluth, Minnesota. We have just activated the public warning alarm tone. This is a test of this weather radio station's public warning alarm system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of these receivers and this alarm system are normally conducted by the National Weather Service office in Duluth, Minnesota each Wednesday around noon. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, this test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. The warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following areas covered by this weather radio station. In Minnesota, Cass, Crow Wing, Morrison, Todd, Otter Tail, and Wadena counties. This concludes the test of this weather radio station. We now return to our regular program. weekly test of the emergency alert system. Federal, state, and local officials use EAS to keep you informed in the event of an emergency or disaster through your local radio and television stations and cable providers. This test helps ensure that broadcasters and cable operators are ready to provide information in a crisis. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for kids and MN, beginning at 4.55 p.m. and ending at 5.55 p.m. This is a required weekly test. This is only a kids and county test.
alert system. This is only a test. Enforcement alert in Sheboygan is cancelled. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. KHPR Honolulu, KKUA Wailuku, KANO Hilo, KHPH Kailua Kona, KIPL Lihue, KJHF Kuala Pu'u. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Alaska beginning at 6 o'clock p.m. and ending at 6.15 p.m. A required weekly test has been issued for all of Alaska. This is only a test log on. The Tampa Climate Summary for this evening. signal was a test of the NOAA weather radio public warning system. Specially built receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather or other hazards. Tests are normally conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected on Wednesday, 
The test will be postponed until the next day, weather permitting. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning signals, can vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can result even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. Warning alarm tones are activated on transmitters for counties where the signal is reliably received, in sufficient strength for consistent and dependable service. For station KIH 26 in Daytona Beach, warning alerts will be activated for Volusia, Flagler, Putnam, Lake, Seminole, Brevard, in Orange Counties. For station KIH 63 in Orlando, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Polk, Seminole, and Volusia Counties. J70 in Melbourne, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Indian River, Orange, and Osceola Counties. For station WWF69 in Fort Pierce, warning alerts will be activated for Indian River, Martin, Okeechobee, and St. Lucie Counties. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System. We now return to the regular broadcast program. Required weekly or required monthly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Esta es una prueba. Esta estación está transmitiendo la prueba semanal o mensual requerida por el sistema de alarma y de emergencia. Esta es solamente una prueba. This is the National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device for stations KECC-61 Mobile, KECC-86 Milton, WWF-55 Jackson, KIH-59 Dillister, WNG-646 Britton, WNG-640 Leakso, and WNG-607 Greenville. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and your receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 9 and 10 a.m. and between 6 and 8 p.m. each Wednesday. If there is a threat of or existing severe weather within the area Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability, which is normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even if you are using a good quality receiver, which is in good working order. The warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings, which affect the following counties. In Mississippi, George, Green, Jackson, Perry, Stone, and Wayne. In Alabama, Baldwin, Butler, Choctaw, Clark, Coffey, Conecuh, Covington, Crenshaw, Escambia, Geneva, Lowndes, Mobile, Monroe, Pike, Washington, and Wilcox. And in the Florida Panhandle, Escambia, Okaloosa, Santa Rosa, and Walton. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device. We now return you to our normal program. Weather Service in Buffalo has issued a special marine warning for Lake Erie from Sturgeon Point to Buffalo Harbor, the Upper Niagara River and Buffalo Harbor, until 8.15 p.m. At 7.13 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located 9 miles west of Wanaka, or 20 miles northeast of Dunkirk, moving east at 45 knots. Hazard, wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Small Boat Harbor, Wanaka, Woodlawn Beach, Erie Basin Marina, Sturgeon Point, Eight Hole Springs, and Bayview. 
Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. This is a required test of WPGU's emergency alert system. The ultraviolet index forecast for October 24th is 5 or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station KEAST C55. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bosque, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Urath, Hill, Hood, Johnson, Parker, Somerville, Tarrant, and Wise. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C55. The ultraviolet index forecast for October 24th is 5 or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station KEAST C-56. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Hill, Hood, Hunt, Kaufman, Parker, Rockwall, and Tarrant. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-56. Ultraviolet index forecast for October 24th is 5 or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K West North 34. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance 
are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Anderson, Cherokee, Freestone, Henderson, Houston, and Leon, and Navarro. This concludes the test of weather radio station K-West North 34. The ultraviolet index forecast for October 24th is 5 or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station West XK35. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bell, Bosque, Coriel, Falls, Hill, Limestone, McLennan, Milam, and Robertson. This concludes the test of weather radio station West XK35. Today, KWRE Warrington operates on the assigned frequency of 730 kilohertz with a power of 1,000 watts designated by the Federal Communications Commission. This is a test of the National Weather Service NOAA weather radio. Warning alarm will vary in any emergency alert system. Normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter will occur. And if even though you are using a good quality receiver in your method working order, tests are postponed to provide the most consistent warning service possible. The warning alarm will be activated for selected watches and warnings affecting the following counties. For the following 14 transmitters and what on C, Douglas, Osage, Jefferson, W. Jackson, 55, Des Moines, Riley, Geary, W. Atchison, and 94, Bremer County. We now return to normal programming. For at Fort Dodge, meet at Marshalltown. KXI-62 at Montezuma, WXN-91 at Raspin Lake, WNG-730 at Atumwa, KZZ-51 at Carroll, KZZ-68 at Van Wert, KXI-65 at Lenox, 
WMG 666 at Iowa Falls. WMG 668 at Denison. WMG 688 at Rinkston. KJY 63 at Forest City. For a detailed listing of what counties are served by each transmitter, please visit the NOAA Weather Radio section of our website at www.weather.gov slash Des Moines. Once again, please visit the NOAA Weather Radio section at our website, www.weather.gov slash Des Moines. This concludes our test. We now return to regular programming. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.